And he said, what's it take to be successful running your own little business? And I said, before I answer that, I will go around the room. And every one of them said they got to have a really firm, solid business plan. That was the big thing. You got to have a firm, solid business plan, a well done, formal business plan. They said, now, Mr. Mason, what do you think? And I said, I've never had one. <laughs> you guys are familiar with a company called Nike. They make shoes. Phil Knight wrote a book a couple years ago called Shoe Dog. Phil Knight's worth about $35 billion. Phil Knight, the founder of Nike that built it into the Nike that it is that you know, never had a formal business plan. I think business plans are really good if you need to go to Springs Valley and get a loan. If you want, <laughs> if you, you need a business plan to borrow money, you do not need a business plan to make money. Business plans are documents that make people really happy because it looks like you're mapping out what you're going to do for the next 10 years. How in this day and age can you map out what's going to happen in the next 10 years? Have you looked around? Did Uber exist five years ago? No. Look at all the stuff that's happened. Business plans are antiquated. Business plans are outdated. Business plans are neat documents. They don't evolve. That's the problem with them. So I think what really matters, and I told the entrepreneur class, I think there's four unwavering traits of success, and you better have some of these possessed in your body, in your mind, if you want to make it. And they are risk tolerance, drive, resilience, and vision.